hi welcome to another section of my sap so go for this session today we are going to discuss about how to use the manual export in sap to find out the vulnerability so coming to manual export we can check the vulnerability of a specific url path in a large application easily we can specifically scan a section using this scan some target url may be missed by automated scan so manual scan helps to get those urls for example suppose in your application you have a login section after login section we have performing a some particular form save action so in manual explore we can save these actions manually and it will capture over the sap so the request and response we can further use for the automated scan uh, use for the active scan so we can go to the active scan coming to the active scan it perform variety of attacks additionally on an application which is not done in passive scan that means manual exploring an application and will capture of this app that means it's the passive scanning after that we can perform the active scan it is the vulnerability checking and it will perform a non attacks like sql injection cross site scripting etc we can perform it in active scan by this app so it will find out the vulnerability and it will give the alert high medium low information so we can find out the vulnerability using the active scan okay then how we can perform the manual export and active scan these are the steps we need to follow start the app and click on the quick start menu menu tab and on the workspace window click on the icon manual explore and enter the url we need to perform the scanning then select the browser you want to use that means the chrome or firefox so then launch the browser perform the actions that means suppose launch the browser and going to particular web pages and all are intercepted by this app and we can see on the site on the site tree okay then after capturing the complete the action then go to the site tree on right button click on click on the site tree before that we need to change the mode into attack mode then click on right click on site tree folder click on attack then choose the active scan choose the policy default policy we can choose then perform the active scan so the scanning will be started and it will take time then it will generate the report that the alert it will generate it then we can download the report and give to the project manager all right now going to the sap and click on the quick start tab click on the manual explore the green icon click on manual explore here you need to paste your url need to check the vulnerability so i paste the URL and choose the browser i here i choose the chrome browser and click on launch so sap will automatically launch the chrome browser and launch our website so you can see on site tree section you can see the actions are captured over here this is our the url we have checking so you can see the actions which are capturing over here so i going to the looking on login menu you can see it is capturing over sap click on login page so going to this can you can see the actions are captured over here form login or are captured so suppose i log in these actions are, are captured over the sap so right now i closing and stop the browser manual exploring so uh, i here i i capture 
three browser actions and and it intercepted by this sac so annual explore is completed so now the next step is what is the next step we need to perform change the mode into attack mode so it will perform the attack okay we scan all the node when scope change okay if you ch we change the scope then it will rescan the so i right now i click on no okay then going to i changed into the attack mode then click on the click on the our site folder right button click and attack and perform the active scan so we need to choose the scan policy i have choosing the default policy and click on start scan so you can see the scanning is started you can see the progress here this is a testing application so it will take less time if you're using the real domain then it will take a lot of time to scan so here it is in progress you can see by clicking the icon show scan progress details you can see the scanning which are the scanning the non attacks are performed by this stack so here is in progress so it's almost completed and see the result over the now the scanning is completed the active scan is completed you can go to the alert you can see the generated alert okay here only one information alert is there suppose you are performing then you can see the issues here are got from the scanning okay here i got the alert the single alert so for after further step is need to generate the report right so for that go to the report generate report and you can give the file name report title or the report name you can change if needed then the template i have chosen the pdf you can choose any format html and xml for different file format are there there I have chosen now the video format and the filter type I need to change. So I click on generate. So it will generate the report. So and we can open that report. Yes, that the report is opening. Yes, this is the report we got by the active scan. I will export and active scan the details the solution all details are given here so we can give this to the project manager or the developer discuss the issue and so here we can see in site three other other th these are the other domain right so if you want to delete this then you can delete only needed this our site tree folder so you can delete this one clicking on choosing folder and click on delete button so on delete okay. then you can perform suppose you need to persist this section i go to the file and persist section and give a folder name with a manual, manual explore as a folder name giving manual manual scan okay giving the session name scan save it will save the section this is the section we can open in future if we need this section further exploring the site or the the type of attack we can perform by saving the section so here 
uh, this is uh, all about the today's section that means the annual explore the application and perform the active scan so you can get covering the automated scanning i have covered in previous section and you can check it out to that one after that we can perform manual export and perform active scan so the complete vulnerability checking on our application will be completed by performing automated and manual export plus active scan so hope you enjoy this section if you like my session please like and subscribe we can see another section sap till then bye thank you